This old guy DIY technique has to do with making a transom riser or a jack plate for a small boat. Now in this case it's a Grumman sport boat. I use this thing for duck hunting and oftentimes the outboard was dragging in the mud and limiting where I could go with the motor. So the first thing I did is took a piece of three quarter inch plywood and a piece of half inch plywood to get to one and a quarter and I reinforced the transom on the inside. And you can see the transom on the outside is a stock piece. And then I wanted to raise the motor up six inches. So I took two pieces of one and a half inch aluminum stock, angle iron, or angle aluminum, and uh, cut it off at 11 inches. I bolted a piece of two by six into the top. You can see I used quarter inch bolts. Then on the back, I put another piece of half inch plywood so as the motor clamps engage, it's spread across the plywood as opposed to pressing only on the 2x6. And then I used 3 8 inch bolts and I came through the transom with the 3 8 inch bolts to hold the transom riser on. I took this thing out yesterday after I made it and uh, it does an excellent job keeping the motor up where it belongs. And in just a minute, I'll take a picture of the clearance on the motor. So after installing the riser, you see that the bottom of the skeg is about six inches beneath the bottom of the boat. And in the areas that I hunt, this is going to be a big help. And it's a very cost-effective way to raise the motor, approximately six inches. Now these are small motors. Uh, this thing is not designed to plane, so I'm only putting a five horse on here at max. And in fact, I may run a couple of support brackets that will just go from the top of the transom riser over here to the edge of the hull. So here's the final setup. I decided to put a Briggs five horse air-cooled engine on this. You can see everything is there. And since this thing has a reputation for vibration, I put a piece of 3 8 inch heavy duty rubber there just to serve as a shock absorber. I just screwed that thing into the 2x6 and then put the motor on top of it. And now with the 5.5 inch lift, the uh, lower unit hangs about 7 inches beneath the boat. And I'm confident I'll be able to go through whatever skinny water I choose to when it's time to chase the ducks and geese this fall. That's it for the old guy DIY transom riser slash jack plate.